Well, as you know, we're looking at relationships in triangles, and we just got through uh, evaluating perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors. And with the perpendicular bisector, we have a circumcenter. And with an angle bisector, we have an end center. And now we're looking at medians and altitudes of triangles, and we're going to start with medians. Now, a median of a triangle is a line segment that connects the endpoints of a vertex and the midpoint of the side opposite the vertex. And as you might imagine, since a triangle has three vertexes, there are three medians for every triangle. Now, as these medians are drawn, again, being a line segment from the end from the end point of a vertex to the midpoint of the side opposite the vertex, there is a point of concurrency or a point of intersection where these three medians intersect. And that point of intersection is called the centroid. Now, one other property of the centroid for any median, uh, the length of the median, two thirds of that length is from the endpoint of the vertex to the centroid, and then one third is from the centroid to the midpoint on the line opposite that vertex. Now, knowing these properties can help us determine some measurements of things, and that's what we're going to do here. So here we say we got in triangle ABC, and we can see triangle ABC, that line segment FC, so here is F, here is C, <coughs> this line segment from the vertex of C to the midpoint of the side opposite C has a measurement of 15, and we don't know what unit of measurement they're using, but it doesn't matter. And then we're asked to find the length of FQ and CQ. Well, FQ is from the midpoint of the side opposite the vertex C to the centroid here. Q is the centroid of these three medians. And so what we know about a centroid is, is that one third of the length of the total median is between the midpoint to the centroid and two-thirds is from the centroid to the point of the vertex. So if FC is 15, then that would mean FQ is one-third that amount, or 15 over 3, which equals 5. And CQ would be from the vertex to the centroid of FQ, and that is also, that's two thirds, so we got 15 times two thirds. Well, three are going to 15 five times, and five times two is equal to 10, and FQ equaling five and CQ equaling 10 gives us 15, and therefore we see an example of how to determine measurements using the centroid theorem, which states that the medians of a triangle intersect at a point called the centroid, that is two thirds of the distance from each vertex to the, to the, and then one third from the centroid to the midpoint of the side opposite.